I think they should all be here. Uh, Traveler? Paimon? Are you in there? Could you come outside for a sec? Look at this. What the... What's this sword doing here? Is it supposed to keep out intruders? Evidently. Uh, huh? Who is it? Oh, what time do you call this? <gasps> Paimon's gonna take out the sword! Yeah! I'll hate them! Kave! What are you doing here? It's the middle of the night! Sorry to wake you up at this hour of the night, but we've got a situation on our hands. Let's get dressed and talk about it outside. Something has come up. And since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. Whoa, whoa, back up. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Huh? Where'd the wine cups go? I could have sworn I left them here after I washed them. Ah, there they are. I'll have a cup too. Can you see if the cookies are still on the table? They are, and so are the fruits. Hmm. Oh, this is so bland. I should have gotten a few bottles of what Sino's group was drinking last night. Do tell. What were they drinking? Oh, right, I forgot to mention. So, I ran into Cyrus yesterday evening, when I went to the tavern to pick up some things. He was hosting a dinner for Sino, Tainari, Kale, and the Traveler and Paimon. Anyway, they got a bottle of Lombard's new vintage for the table. At least, I think that's what it was. It looked pretty good. Hmm. Sounds like they're all tangled up in this. You know what it's about, right? Sixteen-year-old kid tried to extort Cyrus. He was asking for ten million mora. I heard some people talking about it on the streets, yes. Didn't take them long to catch the culprit. The sages are probably dealing with the case by now. <sighs> I wonder what Sir Nephis and the others will make of it. Oh, Cyrus showed me the extortion letter, too. It was crudely written, but the paper had this beautiful pattern on it that I've never seen before. Really caught my eye. Uh, give me a sec, I'll sketch it out for you. Okay, done. Take a look. You see what I mean? I don't think I've ever seen writing paper like this around before. God knows where the culprit got it from. Hmm. Interesting. These are all motifs associated with the tribes of the desert. What? Really? Take this, for instance. Looks like an outline of a spire, similar to the kind found on some ancient palaces. And the crisscrossing and mirroring here, I recognize that too. It bears a striking resemblance to an ancient emblem, one that hasn't been used in a very long time. Whose emblem is it? It's the emblem of the Temple of Silence. After discussing it with each other, we both agreed that something didn't feel right, so we went looking for you. This was a long way to come from the city. Alhatham figured you were probably with Tainari, so Gandarvaville was our first stop, but the Forest Watchers told us that you'd gone camping. Then, just as we were heading off to the campsite, we ran into Sino. He said he was on a supply run. We exchanged a few words, and then he ran off. The Temple of Silence felt that they could no longer trust the Academia, and ended the partnership. They retreated back to the desert about 400 years ago. Ever since its inception, 
The Temple of Silence has been the guardians of King Deshret's civilization and belief system. They traveled throughout Sumeru, sequestering and guarding any wisdom that posed a threat to the people's livelihoods. At its roots, it was a legitimate and reputable organization whose purpose was to guide people towards the right path. So how did Cyrus become acquainted with the true Temple of Silence if they left centuries ago? I'll bet that's the question that bothered Sino. Probably why he went after him in such a rush. Whoever is behind this, getting Uraka to extort Cyrus was only the first step of the plan. Their true goal in doing so was for Cyrus to see the emblem on the letter. He must have recognized it right away. That'll be why he didn't want to involve the authorities. He probably hoped to take care of the whole thing by himself. Unfortunately for him, Sino had other plans. Since the desert is where the Temple of Silence originated, that is in all likelihood where Cyrus went. I have to go after him. Really? Are you sure that's a good idea, with how you respond to the heat? Why don't we send someone else? Uh, am I hallucinating? Or do I see Kaveh and Ahatham engaged in... diligent studying? We're just reorganizing all the books we used. Look, there's a whole mountain of them. There's no rush. Nobody reads these books anyway. My sincere thanks to you both. Yes, with your help, we resolved the issue rather swiftly and painlessly. And the outcome was better than we could have hoped for. I see. The Temple of Silence resorted to rather unique means of self-preservation. It explains how they managed to remain hidden for so many years. And it sounds like they managed to preserve a whole load of ancient documents as well. I'd love to go check those out if I ever had the chance. That day will come. The Temple of Silence is a hugely important organization, and we'll be sure to maintain good relations with them in the future. Now, as a token of my appreciation, I'd like to treat everyone to coffee. <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, sounds great. Um... Although, after the last few days, I don't know if I can handle another coffee, but I can just order something else. Sure. Let's go. I think that'll do me for today. Shall we stop off at the House of Dana again before heading home? We should probably finish putting all those books back. My thoughts exactly. See you around. I should get going as well. See you all later. Make sure you get some good rest tonight. <laughs>